Hey guys, Woodruff here. Um, let's finish strong by talking about how we can prevent stroke. So stroke is, if you don't remember, a cardiovascular disease. So since it is a cardiovascular disease, we are going to focus our prevention on managing cardiovascular health. Um, so things like a healthy diet, um, reducing salt intake, you know, the low sodium diet, reducing how much um, fat intake that they're getting, the saturated fats, total fats, cholesterol, um, uh, we call it, we like a diet that has variety, the whole grains, um, fruits and vegetables, like the dash like diet, uh, weight control is super helpful for these patients, regular exercise, avoiding smoking, um, is important for these patients, vasoconstriction, and also can make you more prone to clots and then limiting alcohol consumption. Um, uh, you know, definitely can, they don't like smoking. They need to stop, um, with alcohol. Remember, I think it's like the women can do one and men can do two a day, um, managing their blood pressure to make sure. Cause remember that's the like, highest risk or biggest risk factor is high blood pressure when it comes to stroke and then getting regular checkups, um, for changes, like keeping up with your health maintenance. Um, other things that can be done is, is that, um, uh, effectively, you know, people that are really high risk for stroke, um, most patients that are high risk for any cardiac events are going to be on aspirin or clopidogrel. If you remember, those are, are antiplatelets. And so antiplatelets, remember they don't actually, um, stop you from clotting, but they stop you platelets from hanging out together. Um, and when your platelets aren't hanging out together, you're more, you're less likely to clog or to, um, have a clot that gets worse. Um, so we definitely want our antiplatelet therapy. And remember, um, when I talked about TPA, I said that, you know, usually have to wait like 24 hours if they get TPA before you start this, but this is a part of the core bundle. We, they have to be on an antiplatelet and um, we want to treat their hypertension if they have hypertension and manage that. Um, uh, patients that, uh, have high cholesterol will give them cholesterol meds and things like that. Most patients that have had a stroke, um, you know, they're usually going to get like kind of the trifecta. They get your hypertension treatment, your antiplatelet and your anti, um, cholesterol med. Um, additionally, if they have atrial fibrillation, will um, they'll be on anticoagulant. Now, this is something that's really important to note is, is that most people would think, oh, after a stroke, you're going to be on an anticoagulant. You're actually not. You're going to be on an antiplatelet. Um, the only, it's kind of like with heart failure, the only people that get an anticoagulant that have had a stroke are those that are in or have atrial fibrillation because they're, they're getting, because the AFib, not because the stroke. So stroke is not an indicator for anticoagulation, um, you know, long-term, but AFib is. Um, there's also some things that can put a person more at risk for stroke. We talked about having like um, carotids that are full of plaques. So we can go in and get um, those removed is what's called an endarterectomy where they go in and they uh, scrape away the plaques and then um, they can also put stents in. And then um, the other option is um, there's what, and you can't see it too well in this picture. I guess I shouldn't have changed this picture this way, but there's this, um, some people are born with what's called an LAA or a left atrial appendage. It's kind of think of it like a storage closet off, to, off your late left atria. And it doesn't cause any harm usually, except that it's a place that clots can like hang out and stay and things like that. So um, they can close it so that the closet's closed. The, the, the clots can't really hang out in the closet. Um, but yeah. That is stroke. I hope you learned something interesting and had as much fun. And um, I still am constantly amazed that you, you guys like and watch these videos, even though all I do is babble and um, yeah, I'm crazy, but uh, I am glad to be doing this crazy journey with you and you're doing better than you realize. We're almost there. See you next time.